Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. I just had a lovely morning. Got the workout in. We got dressed. We did our makeup. My hair is washed. It is a beautiful, crisp fall day. It's actually chilly. There is dew on the vehicle. We have been having the most beautiful weather this fall. It's actually been hot. It's honestly just been like a continuation of the summer, which has been amazing, but looks to be like the crispness is here to stay. So I wanted to pick up the vlog camera this morning because I'm actually headed out of the country tomorrow. I am getting on another plane and I have lots to do today. Lots of errands to run, lots of things to take care of before I head out. So I wanted to bring you along for the journey because you guys know I always love to vlog if I'm leaving the house. <laughs> so first things first, it's been a lot of travel this month. <laughs> my nails are in desperate need of some TLC. And no matter how many times I show you guys what I'm doing with my nails, I always get questions on it so I figured I would bring you along to the salon and show you what I get done literally the same thing I do over and over again to my nails but I love it so I'm happy to continue sharing it with the people so my friends let's head to the salon first stop getting the nails done That's it. I've been getting this done for so long now and I just can't quit it. The one thing, he never puts cuticle oil on my nails and they're just like dry and shriveling away and it's fine. Like I'm literally five minutes away. I'm gonna go put some hand cream on, but it's always funny. Also, okay, this is random, but do you guys ever feel this way? Like for some reason, when I get my hair done and when I get my nails done, I just get so tired. It's such a weird thing. Like I've had my morning coffee. I've had breakfast. I'm fine. Like, I don't know what, but it's every time, no matter what nail salon, hair salon, I just get like, I need a nap after. It's such a weird feeling. Does anyone else feel this way? Is there a, a word or a phenomenon to describe this? Anyway, there's a daily observation for you. So yeah, I get the IBD pink builder gel and he literally just paints it on, does great shaping. I like it just very thin and natural. And then he puts a clear coat of shellac on top of that. So my hands go in the, in the light twice and I could absolutely not do this myself at home. I could probably paint my left hand with my right hand, but I wouldn't be able to do this on my right hand. So that's why we go to the salon. Now I actually have a bit of time before I have a call. So I'm going to head home, get some lunch going, and then I have a call and then we'll continue on our errands run. Your girl needs some grub. Okay. Home now. I have mere minutes before my call. So I've just put the oven to heat, to preheat. And I'm going to make a little Greek salad, my version of a Greek salad. Uh, with shrimp, with Cajun shrimp, it's so good. We live near, we've like just discovered this, but we live near a farm that sells bags of bell peppers for $2. So we've got bell peppers, we still wanna find a farm that has farm fresh eggs, which would be amazing. They're always empty, we need to find the stocks, but we're so thrilled about this. So I'm gonna roast some peppers with a red onion, cook up the shrimp, and then I've got feta and olives to put on it. So that's gonna be lunch, how divine and everything's just gonna bake until I have my call. You guys, I just got off my call and I was literally like, I was chopping the onions before I went on and it was the most ripe juicy onion ever and I, the tears were streaming and I was like, I'm so sorry, I just need to. <laughs> Here's a shrimp, I'm gonna do Cajun or do you want Greek? We could do Cajun and Greek. Both. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh my god. I tried rubbing away my onion tears as much as I could. I essentially need to redo my makeup at this point. LOL. Anyway, welcome to the office. The room that we just continually never uh do anything in <laughs> and by nothing i mean in terms of decoration not work i need to mail out a package and i also need to send some returns so let's pack those up Right, 
packages are dropped. Next stop on our adventure. Do you guys remember this? Valley Master Mason. In one of the previous vlogs, I mentioned that we were creating, <laughs> or we've built the Ikea, what do you call it? Cabinet, set of drawers, built-in drawers in the closet in the studio and we didn't have a top for it. One of our favorite discoveries during our like basement renovation process in the house was discovering places like this where you can buy stone and marble and all these things and get anything that your heart desires made. However, one of the fun little available options as well is that you can use, you can, you can pay for the labor using some of the scraps. So for example, if you're, let's say you're building a kitchen island and you have to buy the big slab of marble or stone or quartz or whatever to create that kitchen island and then you pay for the whole slab and then they cut out the actual dimensions of what your stuff is so there's always leftover pieces so at a place like valley master mason that we learned you can go in and go through their scraps the piece of stone itself like the material is already paid for but then you can if applicable if you find a piece that suits your fancy and matches the dimensions that you need you can just pay for the labor and have something created so we came back to valley master mason did that for the countertop we used them when we created our basement bathroom sink they're amazing and the countertop is ready Yay! So I'm picking it up. I probably won't install it today, but I'm picking it up and it's an exciting development <laughs> in the forever year-long ongoing completion of the basement studio. So here we are. Let's go get the counter. How much mopping material do you think they go through in a week? I could lick this floor. It's so clean. Got the goods. I'll show you what I picked up when we get home because there's non-copyright music playing in the background. Ah, oh, my friends, we're home at last. What a day, what a day it's been. I feel like I've been running around all day, huh, Meryl? Come say hello to the people. They miss you, Meryl. Say hello to the people, meow. So let me show you what I picked up at Sephora. You guys, I mentioned that I am heading out. I'm going on another trip and I'm actually doing makeup. My BFF and also hairstylist Armine and I are doing a little duo guys and I'm doing some makeup. It's not something I do often. I'm not a makeup artist. However, I do love to um, provide my services to friends and family. So really excited about the trip. Armine and I are kind of going on a little girl's trip. So I actually needed to stock up on a few things and also just grab a few travel size things, which I'm going to talk to you about, which obviously I grabbed. So first up, the first thing I picked up is this gorgeous new set from Caudalie and I'm so excited Excited, you guys. I love Kodalee so much. I adore them. I've been working with them for years and thanks so much to them for sponsoring this portion of the video in celebration of this new set. Tis the season, my friends, for holiday sets, value sets to be coming out and this new one from Kodalee is absolutely stunning. This is the Pores and Glow Duo. It has the mini beauty elixir spray as well as the travel size Venergetic C Plus Instant Detox Mask. If you guys have watched my videos, you'll know my obsession with this mask. And if you open TikTok, you will have seen this mask. It is absolutely beautiful. For your nose? Yeah. Oh yeah. Dan just took the countertop from the car to the basement and he just yelled up, that's the mask you told me to use for my nose. It's so true. If you have clogged pores, if you have congested skin, if you're having a breakout, like this is just my go-to clay mask. It's such a beautiful formula and I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited that they brought out this travel size because now they have it in a mini. So in the set, it's a $32 value. You can get it for $25 and these are the minis that you get. These are the little travel size beauty elixir as well as the instant detox mask. And I'm so thrilled because it's actually rare for masks to come in travel size. So now when I'm going on trips, I can bring my mask with me. I'm so excited. Armin and I are absolutely gonna have a little masking moment. Gonna have a masking moment with you tonight. But since I got my hands on this, it has been my go-to clay mask. Totally just like all of their ingredients, their formulas, their brand philosophy, the founders behind the brand, the team, like everyone is just so amazing and they really put their heart and soul into making beautiful products. And it's been so fabulous to watch the brand grow, the product availability grow. And it's also really incredible because all of their packaging is made out of 100% recyclable materials. And that was such a huge move for them to do as a brand as a whole. All of the new packaging has been coming out and it's so exciting. And I'm so thrilled that this is coming in a travel size. 
Can you tell? And when this video goes live, you guys, the Sephora VIB sale has begun. So not only is it a value set, but you can also save extra depending on what level you are in the Sephora VIB program. You can save extra coin, including saving dollars on this value set, but also all of the Caudalie favorites in general. So obviously at the time that I'm filming this, I'm buying this in full price, but you best believe that I have my list. I'm gonna be checking it twice and stay tuned. My next video is going to be my top picks for the Sephora sale. I'm thinking deeply about this list and what my top picks are gonna be. I will be sharing that with you very soon. But for those of you who have the Rouge status, you can get a head start, my friends. I'm gonna link this down below. If you've been wanting to try this mask, this is a perfect time for you to try it, see how it works for your skin. The Beauty Elixir Spray, the perfect travel size to keep in your purse, keep with you on the go, spritz throughout the day. It's an absolute iconic product from Caudalie and so excited. So that is the new set from Caudalie. I will list it in the description box down below and do stay tuned for my full list of my top picks for the Sephora sale coming to a YouTube screen near you. So back to the Sephora haul, I got a few more things. I stocked up on my dry bar dry shampoo because I go nowhere without this. Then I also got um, another travel size of the Benefit Professional Spray. I would love it if they would bring out like a refill bag of this because you can unscrew the lid and refill it. That would be amazing, dear Benefit. I don't even know if that's a possibility, but if we could do the little refill bags of that, that would be stunning my favorite setting spray of all time. And then I got a few beauty blenders as well because like I said, I'm doing other people's makeup. We don't wanna be using my personal disgusting stained beauty blenders. Obviously needed to get some fresh ones for the people. So I got those as well. And that was my little pre-travel haul, nothing too crazy. Obviously I wanna wait until the actual sale is going on. So that's the haul. Caudalie, we love you. Thank you always for your product services. Stunning. Now time for dinner, listen. I have another little blab, another little cute story for you, but I literally need to put the food in the oven to warm up because I've been driving for 12 years. So in case you weren't aware of the Canadian holiday calendar, then you wouldn't know that the Canadian Thanksgiving has actually recently passed. Our Thanksgiving is much earlier than the American Thanksgiving, but I wasn't actually home for Thanksgiving this year and we usually definitely try to gather with our friends and family to have a little thing. Last year we hosted Thanksgiving and Friendsgiving and this year it was just, there's just been too much travel this month. Um, I had to pass on it and the benefit team oh, was so cute. They actually hosted a dinner event in Toronto and because we no longer live in Toronto, they were so cute and they actually sent us a gift card so that we could be included in their celebrations with the Benef fam. So it was so, so, so sweet. Benefit, thank you so much. I know this is literally so late that I'm like following through on the actual dinner, but I did go ahead and pick up dinner. We went to Cactus Club just because I was over there anyway at Valley Master Mason. I thought, oh, that's a really, really special little dinner treat. So Dan and I are gonna have Cactus Club for dinner. Thank you so much, Benefit. That's so, so sweet. I miss you guys. <laughs> Why is everyone in Toronto? Hmm? Oh my goodness gracious. We got a whole feast here. Little mini chicken burgers. Dan got a Cajun chicken sandwich with yam fries. Delicious. I got a little teriyaki bowl. And then always, like Earl's or Cactus Club, we always get the prawn roll. Good evening, fam. I've been packing for uh, 71 hours. And now I've ran a bath and it's time to clean this body, put a tan on and go to bed. So please join me in this endeavor. Totally cleansing oil. Another product I'm almost out of and will absolutely need to pick up in the sale. I'm gonna use this to melt away all of my woes. Mask time. Let's tame these breakouts. <laughs> I don't often break out so much on my forehead, but I've got like a little, little breeding ground right here. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And now let's get in the bath. You guys, I got out of the tub and I literally, I couldn't bring myself to put on the tan. I was just hit with such a wave of sleepiness and I technically like don't have to have the tan on for a couple of days. So I'm just gonna bring it with me and put it on once I get to Cabo because your girl is tired and that alarm is ring ding 
the early in the morning to catch the flight. Before I bid you adieu for the evening, I wanted to give you a little book update because I have to I have to tell you, I actually don't know how long it's been at this point since I mentioned it, but how many pages have I read? Like five. I haven't read this book. I really haven't started it. I've literally read like maybe the first chapter or two, but I just, I was reading it and I'm like, it's too much. I was too invested in the Throne of Glass series. Like it was, it was like a whole lifetime of world living and I just couldn't bear myself to like, like cheat on Throne of Glass and start another fantasy. Like it felt wrong. It felt like I was leaving this world for another one that I didn't want to be in. You know, she was like talking about wolves and I'm like, oh my God, I'm out. I can't, I can't read this right now. So first of all, I will read this. I just don't think right now is the time while I am, yes, weeks later still experiencing a throne of glass hangover. I just need to know, like, is it really, like, for those of you who have read both of them, is it good? Like, do I need to read this? I'm just curious. Um, so I decided to just take a break. I picked up a different book. Carrie Soto is back, and this is the one I started, but I've got to be honest with you guys. I've been watching so much Netflix. I've been watching so much TV. There's an entire series called Ragnarok, and I watched the entire thing. Was it two seasons? Must have just been two seasons. Subtitles and all. It was terrible. I absolutely don't recommend watching it, but like I started it, so I had to finish it, you know? I also recently started watching The Empress on Netflix, and I also watched that with the subtitles. I don't like watching it with the English dub over it. Phenomenal. I have one episode left, and I just, like, each night, I'm just so looking forward to watching it before bed, and I know it's so going against my, like, dreams routine and the way I want to set up my life and all that. However, the enjoyment is real. I've just been having a, a video and tv moment so I, I do apologize for the pause in our little book club endeavors but i will get back into it i would just love to hear your thoughts if you guys just have any general books that you've just been loving even like old ones there's a lot of like classic books that i haven't read my mom gave me the help and she's like you have to read it and i was like oh but i saw the movie you know for me like i need to read the book before watching the movie or TV show. I can't go backwards because then I'm just like comparing it to the, the movie the whole time, you know? I think it's been long enough since I saw The Help that it would be fine, but the book doesn't necessarily have to be new. I would just love to hear your favorites, like regardless of the genre. Give me your top five or your top 10 books that you've ever read, okay? I gave you guys mine. I made a little video on my top books of all time. I need to hear yours, okay? We need, we need some help over here, my friends. The reading is lacking. Meryl has come to cuddle and say goodnight. Wow, what a symphony we have this evening, Meryl. Oh my god, cats are so fascinating. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna pass out. So is Meryl. Thanks for hanging with me. Love you lots. Toodaloo. Good night.